Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Small Talk Kagoshima. On this podcast, we talk about all things Japan and Kagoshima.、Uh, I'm, my name is Michi, and this is my co host. Hello, I'm Natsuki. And、uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things Japan and Japan related, but in English. English. But before we do that, I got to tell you, I am sleepy. <laughs> I、uh, ate a lot now. <laughs> yeah, just right before we filmed this podcast, I ate a lot of curry, but not rice.、Mm. Japan is famous for curry and rice, isn't it?、Mm. Is that Japanese food? You know, invented, invented in Japan? So let's talk about this. So I've actually researched this.、Mm-hmm. Curry is obviously from like India region where all the curry spices and everything's from.、Uh-huh. But Japan adopted curry and they made like a Japanese curry for curry and rice.、Mm. So you, you see all these like curry brands that, you know, are Japanese.、Uh-huh. And it's just, it, it has, it's, it's like its own special taste.、Mm. So, but it's, I mean, like Japanese curry is generally not spicy. Sometimes it's spicy, but generally it's kind of sweet. Mm, 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 mm. And then also there's like, Flavored curry, like apple flavor and stuff like that in Japan. Oh,、uh, like apple and honey. And yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. some people put the chocolates in there too. Because、mm-hmm. Japanese people, I feel, really like sweet stuff.、Uh, that might be true.、Mm. But、uh, in other countries, like in India and things like that,、uh, really you can get some spicy curry. Can you eat spicy curry? Oh, I love spicy curry. Oh, you curry. love spicy curry. Here in Kagoshima, I'm going to give a shout out to this awesome place.、Uh, it a is. Sri Lanka curry you're talking about? There is a Sri Lankan curry. House、mm. here in Kagoshima.、Mm. It was featured in,、uh, we, for the show, we have a, a, a related、uh, Instagram account called mm, Kagoshima mm, Eats. Mm, mm, mm. It was actually featured on them.、Um, mm. So if you guys want to follow、uh, that account on Instagram, it's called Kagoshima Eats. Kagoshima Eats. It's、uh, actually run by Josh over here, and he goes around to all these different restaurants in Kagoshima, t- checks them out, gives them a review.、Uh, it's a pretty informative、uh, Instagram. Uh, but anyway, the Sri Lankan curry is so good.、Mm. And then、uh, my favorite curry place is Goya. Soup oh,、curry. okay, now that's、Sorry、interesting.、Restaurant. Do you know where it's from? Hokkaido. Yeah,、mm. it's like a Hokkaido cu- cultural thing, I guess, or something. Maybe. Yeah, the, the master owner of the curry, soup curry restaurant Goya trained in Sapporo, right? That's right. He trained、mm. in, in Hokkaido. I've never met him, but he,、mm. I hear his story. But、mm. he trained in Hokkaido and then came back to Kagoshima, and where he, I think we have. Three or four properties here mm, that he mm, runs. Mm, yeah. So, why do you like soup curry? Because to my, me, my image, it seems like very healthy. Don't you think so? Well, I think if you don't eat a full plate, because they give you the bowl of soup curry with all the vegetables and chicken meat and everything. Okay. And then they have the plate of rice.、Uh-huh. If, they, if you don't eat like a full plate of rice, then you、mm. should be okay. Oh, this guy right here cares about his weight. So, he didn't actually eat. Curry and rice. And instead of you know, rice, he、This、uses ma- mushrooms. Yes. Shimeji. shimeji. Japanese mushrooms. Yeah, we have shimeji mushrooms here. And I took them and put them in a fruit, food processor.、Mm-hmm. It went bee, bee, bee. And then it becomes. So in America,、mm-hmm. recently, there's this new trend to make what's called riced cauliflower. Ah, riced cauliflower. You know? Yes, I've seen that. Like, same thing, right? I mean, you put the you know, fruit processor. Professor, processor. 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 And then curry for our, you know, mash the curry for our, right? Yeah, and it becomes,、mm-hmm. like, it becomes like rice. And、mm-hmm. it's, and it's、uh, a lot healthier than rice because it's fewer calories, it's got、mm-hmm. lots of fiber.、Mm-hmm. So I, I can never find cauliflower here in Kagoshima. I don't know why, but I just can never find it. And when I do find it, it's expensive. Right. Yeah, we can find it, but it's expensive. Yeah, and I don't, I don't really know where to find it. But anyway, so I tried to make, cur- I tried to make rice out of like a rice like. Substance from the shimeji、mm. mushroom,、mm. and it worked out really well. Yeah, I had a bite and it tastes really good.、Mm-hmm. It's really healthy for you because you know, mushrooms are really good for you, and it's low calories and it's good.、Yeah. And the curry I made in a slow cooker, so it's so easy. You just throw everything in there, beat, and go to bed. You know, you know, I want one of those, you know, slow cooker. I bought my slow cooker from Amazon,、mm-hmm. where I buy everything these days, <laughs> and、uh, it was like. I think 1 2 0 0 0 yen, so like, like 12,000 yen. 
What what else do you make by you know slow cooker? So you can make lots of things. You can make nachos. Nachos. You can make、uh, chili.、Mm-hmm. You can make soups. You can you can cook a whole chicken. What do you think about you know making Japanese food by slow cooker? You, you could、make? probably、uh, so a lot of Japanese foods require dashi. Ah, hi, hi, hi. Dashi o toranai tikenai, which is hai, like hai, you hai. have to soup stock. It, yeah, extract the dashi soup st- stock. Extract from like kombu and katsuobushi and basically seaweed and like. Bonito flakes and stuff like that. And then also we use like chicken bones, bones. yeah, and, and pig, bones. pig bones, lots of that. And、mm-hmm. so I think I'm not sure if you could use a slow cooker for that, but I bet you could.、Mm-hmm. But、uh, for the most part, I think if you just like Google,、uh, go to YouTube and search for slow cooker recipes,、mm-hmm. there's so many things out there. It's great.、Uh, you know, I want to one of those.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Mm-mm. I'll check it out. All right, guys. Now it's time for the news talk segment. In this segment, we talk about something that's in the news, usually in Japan, and we discuss it in this corner. Remember, if you guys have any comments or suggestions about possible topics for us, make sure you leave us a comment in the section, the comment section below.、Mm-hmm. All right. This week's、uh, topic is going to come from、uh, NHK News.、Uh, this is on their website, and it's called "No Smokers Allowed."、Uh, this story talks about how the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, Olympics are coming. And、uh, one of the big differences between Japan and some of the European and maybe America and Canada countries is that in Japan it's still okay to smoke inside. Some restaurant, yes. Some coffee shop, yes. Right,、mm. and in most bars, basically,、mm-hmm. if there's alcohol, they、mm. usually let you smoke.、Uh, now that's changing little by little, but I would say on the whole, it's still much more common to see smoking indoors than you would say in America or Europe.、Mm-hmm. Natsuki, you don't smoke. No, I don't. I don't smoke either.、Mm. What do you feel about people smoking? Well, I. You know, if as long as they keep manner, you know, smoking manner, I don't care about it. What is the smoking manner? What tell me what that、uh, is? Oh, like you know, you shouldn't smoke in front of you know, like public or you know, in front of like people who don't like smoke smoking. Yeah. And you know. So you mean like if you're at a dinner, you should ask first, like, hey, do you guys mind if I smoke? Sure, 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 sure. Because you know, like my family, you know, like my dad and my brothers still smoke. That's why I kind of, you know, feel generous about it. But、uh. you know, I I know there are many people who hate, you know, people smoking cigarettes and tobacco. Well, by the way, what's the difference between you know cigarettes and tobacco? So tobacco is the name of the leaf. Tobacco is English, right? Yes, yes.、Oh. So tobacco is the name of the plant,、mm. and、uh, the cigarette is that that like pipe-looking thing that you、oh, smoke. Oh, really? Okay. So, for example, if you have if you have a,、uh, a cigar,、uh-huh. it's made from tobacco. Okay. But it's called a cigar. Cigar. And the little one's a cigarette. Okay. So. Okay, now I got it. But so, so but back to the story. So I. Feel a little bit sorry for who loves smoking cigarettes because、ah. my brother always complained about you know where to go to smoke.、Mm. You know, I I might be opposite. Nanka, jidai ni hain shite ru. Let's let's talk about this for a second. Now, when I was a kid,、mm-hmm. it was kind of cool、mm-hmm. to smoke. Like the like the. Cool kids and the bad kids were kind of the same kids、right. in in,、uh. in when I was when I was younger,、mm-hmm. and so like the bad kids smoked and it was kind of cool. But now these days, like pe- the kids who smoke are looked they people think they're dumb. Ah,、uh, really? Yeah, it's like、uh. why do you smoke? You're not smart, like kind of thing. Ah,、uh, so do you think in the future, like you know, maybe like a far away future, tobacco or you know c- cigarettes, cigarettes will no more like ex. Exist. I don't know if it's going to completely go away, but、uh, smoking rates in America have gone down. I think、uh, smoking rates in Japan have all has gone all, down, also、yeah. gone、uh. gone down. But one thing that has changed in recent years, which is kind of scary, is the introduction of non-cigarette. Smoking, for example,、mm-hmm. like in in I don't want to say the brand name, but、mm-hmm. in、uh, Japan they have like the it's like. E-cigarettes,、mm-hmm. like electric ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to say the brand name, but you know、uh-huh. they have it. In America,、uh, what's really popular is called vape. 
Uh, it's yeah, like a it's, liquid. It, yeah, it's getting popular in Japan too. But it, it because there's it it still has some smell, but not a like a strong smell. Mm. But the problem with that is there's not a lot of research on the dangers. So it's new, so we don't know what's really happening to your body. And on top of that, like I from what I understand, people who start、uh, vaping and people who do the e-cigarettes tend to smoke a lot more,、mm. and so that's not good, obviously. But I. Don't want to hate on people who smoke. If they smoke, it's their decision.、Mm-hmm. I my concern is always with the children. Right. Ah,、uh, no, no. So no. what I don't like about smoking indoors is that the children sometimes there's children in the same room,、mm. and smoking around children sometimes you know it's not good. But I sometimes will see like the family eating dinner、mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. and the little kids and papas smoking. I don't、mm-hmm. like that. I don't like that either.、Mm. No. What? So I wonder, you know, like, in, like、oh, let's say in Las Vegas,、yeah. where people smoke, like there are some bars allowed to smoke. Now that's a very interesting question. So Las Vegas is very different from the rest of America.、Mm-hmm. It is the party town.、Mm-hmm. It's where everybody goes to have fun.、Mm-hmm. Nanuni. Even with that said,、uh, Las Vegas passed a law about fifteen, ten or fifteen years ago that banned smoking inside, anywhere. Except, except casinos. Casinos, casinos is inside though, <laughs> because they want to spend. They want to people to spend more money. We don't want you to leave、uh-huh. because you're not going to keep spending money. Right, right, right. So, Sasuga Las Vegas. So they they、uh, made it so if it's a casino, you can smoke. So what will happen if there, you know, there's people who don't who hate smoke cigarettes? I think the, in the casino. So I think some of the casinos offer a no smoking area.、Oh, okay, no smoking area. But the reason why I think that they said that casinos are、uh, allowed, their reasoning was because、uh, children are absolutely not allowed in casinos. Right, and、uh, un- under eighteen. Under twenty one. Tw- under twenty one. Yeah.、Oh. So that was the reasoning, but I I don't know, but. For me, I just re- remember when I go home now to Las Vegas and I go to a restaurant. I can go home and I don't smell like cigarettes. Oh, so good now. That's、oh. the only. I don't care if you smoke, but my that's my one big strong thing is、oh. I don't want you to make me smell like cigarettes. Uh, I don't want you to make me smell like cigarettes. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Natsuki, you have long hair. I do. So when you go to like izakaya or、mm-hmm. to a bar,、mm-hmm. I mean it. Gets in your hair, right? Right, right. Yeah, it's you know. So when I come home from you know izakaya or bar,、mm. I smell like I have I have I sm- my hair smell like smoke and I can't stand you know taking a shower.、Huh? I, I can't、hear. I can't stand it, so I take a shower. I can't stand it, so I take a shower.、Mm-hmm. You know, let me talk about that for a second.、Uh, this is completely off topic, but you know, Japanese people take a shower when they come home.、Hmm. American people take a shower in the morning. I think it's like, I think some percent do that, some percent do it at night. I'm not sure, but my whole life I've only taken a shower in the morning because、uh-huh. it wakes me up. Okay, uh, uh, so you mean you take a shower to wake you up, not、yeah. like cleaning your body? No, no, no. Of course, to clean, <laughs> but like I take a shower in the morning because、uh-huh. it's like that's the start of my day. Okay. But like I don't. How do you guys like? Do you when you go drinking, for example,、mm-hmm. do you like go home and take a shower after drink? Isn't that dangerous? Is that dangerous? Because you could slip and fall. That's you know too much drinking, right? <laughs> But you know sometimes, like my husband, you know he.、Uh, We're gonna just keep talking about、uh, Natsuki's hu- husband, Samikun. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a good example. <laughs> my real life example. Real life But, example. Yeah. Anyway, so he comes home and then you know just passed away. Passed out, not passed away. <laughs> passed away means to die. 死んでしまった。ごめん、間違えた。Passed out. Sorry, good. Sorry, good. We're so sorry. We're not trying to kill you. Okay. Passed out. Josh is laughing so hard right now. <laughs> passed away is 死んじゃったね。So passed away is なくなりましたね。Passed out is なんか急に寝ることでしょ。あ、そうそうそう。How do you say passed out in Japanese? すぐ寝る。すぐ寝る。<laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, like, it's. I think it's dangerous to come home and shower if you're like really drunk. Okay, so, um, so, so, so. That's why, like, basically, about you know, my you know, sister-in-law never allowed my brother to you know, uh, sleep without shower. 
Because she doesn't want her, her bed or sheets. So this is smells a, like you know cigar or like drinking. So this is another big difference I think between the cultures is that I think that people in America wash their sheets more often than Japanese people do, and Japanese people put their futon outside in the sun,、mm. which I don't think Americans do. How do you guys clean their like so, bed? So like everything, I think、uh-huh. everything in the bed is like washable. So like, we wa- even like bed itself. No, 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 not the bed. So you just you always have like a, a cover on it. Okay. So you wash all the covers and everything, and because in America everybody has a dryer. Ah,、uh, right. And they're、uh, big too. So how, how often do they wash their sheets? That depends on people. But when I was in America, I think I washed my sheets every week. Ah,、uh, every week, like weekend. Yeah, weekend.、Um, I wash the sheets.、Mm. And like also the the pillowcase is really important because、uh. you have even if you take a even if you wash your face before you go to bed you're you still have oil and stuff、uh. in your face、uh. and like your hair、uh. and so it's important to wash your pillowcase. Right. Yeah. Of course, Japanese people wash you know their sheets and pillowcase.、Too. Yeah, but I think it's the, because you guys go to bed clean,、Mm-mm. so you, it's not so important to wash every week. Well, and then also because yeah, you guys don't, months, yeah, yeah, and because you guys don't have、uh, dryers,、uh, uh. it's harder to wash. Mm, 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 you know,、mm. so, but yeah, the, the no dryer situation. I really wish we could fix that. I want a dryer. And then let's get back to the story. You know. Japan, All right, c- yeah, cigarettes. <laughs> I will be off topic often. Well, here's my advice, Tokyo,、uh-huh. for the 2020 Olympics. Everybody should just quit smoking. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> And now it's time for our audience question.、Uh, here, you guys at home ask us any kind of questions you want, and me and Natsuki will try to answer your questions as best as we can. Okay, as best as we can. As best as we can. All right. Today we've got a question from Joho Koko's Riko Chan. Hello, my name is Riko at Joho High School. English is the global language. Almost one billion people speak English around the world. So the question for you today. Is how did English become the global language, and do you think English continues to be the global language? I want to know this. I want to know the answer too. Rico, that was a really good question.、Mm. Um, you know, a lot of people because we just know the current situation that English is a global language.、Mm. But how did we get here? Well, actually,、uh, English was not is not the first global language. Okay, what's、uh, the first global language? It's it's okay. Latin. Latin actually was a global、mm. language at one point. It was the language of science,、mm-hmm. and it was the language of religion.、Mm-hmm. And then, before English, I believe the glo- gl- the global language was actually French. Really? Yes.、Hey. A lot of European、uh, diplomacy, like the government interaction, was done in Latin and then in Fran and French.、Mm. So English becoming a global language is actually a、uh, kind of a new thing.、Mm. And it really gained dominance because you know England、uh, was a very strong country, and they had a lot of、uh, colonies、mm-hmm. uh, all over the world. So, for example, America actually、mm-hmm. used to be、uh, owned by England,、mm-hmm. and then we had ourselves a little war、mm-hmm. where we became a different country.、Mm-hmm. Uh, England also owned parts of Canada, India. Australia, India,、oh. all those places.、Mm-hmm. So that's your first big wave of English out into the world because you had this one island country,、mm. and it's kind of amazing that England was able to do this.、Mm-hmm. It's this tiny little、uh, island country that really just took over big parts of the world.、Mm-hmm. So that's where English started going out in the first wave,、mm-hmm. and then after that, English. Came out a second time because after World War Two,、mm-hmm. uh, the two surviving kind of big powers were America and England. Hi, hi, hi. And then after World War Two, America, who, because you know, the World War Two largely happened in Europe and in Asia,、mm-hmm. like near in Japan and stuff、mm-hmm. like that. So the homeland of America was not touched,、hmm. right?、Hmm. So then after the war, it was really easy to start ma- like switch back to normal economy and、mm-hmm. making and producing things. And so what happened in the fifties、uh, is American movies、oh. and media started to become really big. I see. And we started exporting that all around the world. Not a hold on that. So, so first you got England, and then you got America,、uh, and then you got Hollywood. Ah,、uh, なるほどなるほど。そういうことか。Yeah, so that's what's happening. You got you got these waves upon waves of English coming out there.、Uh, 
Then it got even more English because the global postal system,、mm -hmm. like if you send something from here to you know Mexico or something,、mm -hmm. that postal system is all done in English. In the air, because airplanes were first made in America,、mm -hmm. the Wright brothers,、mm -hmm. the、uh, the FAA makes basically the rules for all of the airliners. What is FAA? It's a federal uh, uh, aviation uh, administration. Uh, administration. FAA. It's in America, and、mm. so they make the rules for basically most of the world.、Mm. And so pilots have to speak in English.、Mm. There's no other languages allowed. All ground control and pilots all communicate in English. Mm, mm, so mm. even if you're a French pilot or a Korean pilot or a Japanese pilot,、mm. uh, you you communicate in English.、Mm -hmm. And then. The final step that really sealed English into the global uh, language uh, as a global language was the internet. Ah, internet. Ah, Microsoft. Microsoft. Yes. Yeah. What do you guys say about Microsoft? Like a crofune. Ah, so that in Japan, it was like. Well, was before、uh, Office. What did you guys use? Nantaka kun or something like that. あのワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワードワード And of course, because the internet was created in America, so、mm. that's really what is just cementing、ah. that in. And in space, which is, this is kind of interesting too, the official language in space at the space station、mm. is English and Russian. Russian. Because the Russians have rockets and America has rockets. Well,、mm. had now they're getting them again.、Mm. And so the official language in space is Russian or English. And if you ask the astronauts what they speak on the uh, uh, space station, they actually、uh, speak a mixture of Russian and English. It's really interesting, yeah.、Mm. And on top of that, you know, here's an interesting fact there are more English speakers in China、mm. than there are in America. Really? Yeah, because、so、there's. You, the, you mean like Chinese people speak English? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean,、mm. they're, they're ESL, so that's their mm, second mm, language. Mm, mm. But there's more people who identify as being able to speak English in China than there is in America. <laughs> because, because everybody learns it. I mean, in Japan, you guys learn English from、uh, elementary school.、Uh, now, elementary school. My time、uh, from junior high school. Junior、yeah? high school.、Mm. So, I mean, it really just is the international language.、Oh, it's a language of science, it's a language of medicine,、mm. everything. Doctors in Japan, they all learn how to、uh, read and write and communicate in English because、mm. all the medical knowledge in the world is in English. So, that's why, you know, a lot of medical students used to be your school's you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots, oh. lots of medical students want to learn English because English is where all the information comes from.、Oh. Now, here's the thing that I want to say though before we get, you know, before we discuss this a little bit. English was a language that came from England,、mm -hmm. and then it spread all over the world. And I want everybody to realize that English is not owned by anyone. Are、uh, not owned by anyone. Ah,、uh, that's why you know, like there are many, you know, stuff. Ah,、uh, English like sing Singlish, yeah, Singapore Singlish. English. Um, Canadian English, Australian yeah, 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 English, English, there's New Zealand English,、mm. there's Jamaican English,、uh, there's tons and tons, there's Creole, uh, 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 which is a kind of English, French mix,、uh, there's so many kinds of English out there. Right, right. That's why you know, keep saying, like, don't be hesitate to speak in you know, a collect English. Don't worry、mm. about it, because it's、yeah. not, there's no one, I mean, your teacher might say, this is correct English, this is incorrect、mm, English,、mm. and you should listen to him or her. But <laughs>、mm. in reality, no one owns it. No one owns it. it,、mm. it, it any, any of us can, can use it and change it. And add to it. And the interesting thing about English is that it absorbs words from other cultures.、Mm -hmm. For example, sushi、mm -hmm. is a word that we got from Japan.、Uh, you said bento is one of the. Bento you know, is now becoming、uh, a kind of an English word.、Oh. Uh, umami. We,、uh, umami. We, we umami. use umami now、mm. in, in, uh, in uh, newspapers、ah, and stuff. 
Montana is also that's uh. a little bit less, but that's also uh. that's that's one that's coming up. I mean, there there are so many different cases where uh, foreign words come into English. So. Uh, it's like Disneyland, man. Look, it never ends. Never ends, and it's a mixture of everything. Mixture of so. everything. Uh. So and and honestly, that's one of the great things about English, and that's why it beca- it it remains a global language. Is because everybody can use it, mm. and you know you can add to it your own personality. So Rico from mm. Joho uh, High School, maybe you can add some uh, words. English as well. Oh, and then you know, Rico's question is was like, you know, is the English will be you know continue, uh, continue global language? So your answer is yes. I think so. Uh-huh. Now I, I think uh, the number one spoken by native speakers language in the world is uh, uh, is Chinese. Ah, uh, because they have a lot of population, people, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing about that is most of the people who speak Chinese are only the Chinese. Chinese. Mm. So it's not really a. It's. I don't know if it will be. I doubt it'll become a global language. Also, because the Chinese characters are really difficult for people mm-hmm. to learn, unless you were born in that kind of mm-hmm. uh, country. So, although Chinese is a big language, mm-hmm. I think that as a global language that you use to communicate with uh, people from different countries, I still I think English has got. You know, a long, long lifespan. So, oh, okay. especially in the future, when we when we head into space and space, I think the language of space will probably be English. Hmm. So. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So that's why, Rico. That was a really good question. Thank yeah. you very much. Let's keep studying English. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Me too. New English. <laughs> So thank you very much, Rico from uh, Joho Coco. That's been our audience question. If you guys at home have a question for us, make sure that you write us at uh, at Kago Talk. That's our Twitter uh, uh, handle. So you can type us a question on, 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 on Twitter. Or if you want to send us a video question, uh, you can find us on Facebook at Small Talk Kagoshima and you can send us, our video, uh, send us a video question that way. Mm. All right, next up is going to be Show and Tell Japan. In this segment, you guys show us something that you love about Japan and you tell us about it in English. Let's go to our video submission. Well, I've been Hello. here before, I know where this is. Yeah, okay. Welcome oh, to yeah. our atelier. How are you from Quantum? Oh, so everyone is not here, but usually everyone walking here. I'm Kiharu Kawano, and I own my fashion brand. She's and from this is my atelier mm. to make wedding dresses she and made, many kind of made, dresses here. Made, uh, and then those are pattern oh, for clothing. So I'm gonna dress. introduce my favorite food, and oh. I'll make Japanese food today. Kara age. Do you know this? Everyone like this, which is um, Japanese fried chicken. So I'll show you the ingredients and stuff to need. So first, of course, you need the chicken. Mm. So that's and chicken breast. You need soy sauce and oil, mm-hmm. fat free if you like, mm-hmm. and mm. starch, starch and ginger paste and garlic paste. Oh. And this is yeah, a um, plastic drawer for hand. Ah, uh, so yeah, because you yeah, ladies kind of worry of about the girl smell. The smell, yeah. Thick. So uh, you know, I'll use it. it. And then you need bowl as well. If you don't put so first, garlic, you cut like the taste. chicken uh, for small that's pieces. Mm. Now, interesting fact about Kiharu, she actually cooks a lot of the food for her staff oh, at Kwantai, cool. at their fashion. Then, she's the person, um, right? Yeah, she's the CEO. Wow. CEO. So she's in Japan, NHK. you can find oh, those kind for of this, she's cooking. Really? chicken at the supermarket. She makes mm. This is my favorite um, ingredient, Spina. ginger paste. Spina this is so nice. easy. Yeah, she's actually one of my favorite people to drink with. She's so much fun. Although she doesn't drink that much, but she's super fun. And she's very smart. Um, garlic paste. Yeah, she should hang it on the show, I think. We should get on the show. Talk about Quantize and their dress brand. You know, because they do fashion shows in France and like New York. Yeah, it's really cool. Then I put soy sauce. Did you see the cheese? Just put it all of it. Oh, yeah. But that's a lot then of chicken. I put the plastic roll in and I mix it. But you know what? I think this is super cool that she makes food for her staff. It's right. like there's something about it like giving she, that, that thank you, that appreciation for um, her staff. I just think it's really cool. And she cares about health probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, if you like spicy one, you can put the chili powder. Oh, but look at her, look at her kitchen. I actually get it yeah, at the Dubai, but you kitchen. can get it at the supermarket everywhere. Now, she's originally from uh, Kagoshima, but their studio is in Fukuoka. Oh, really? Yeah. So I went there for some business stuff, and uh, I went and had a coffee at their mm. studio. It was really cool. Mm. And, she, you know, sometimes she has, like, uh, what are they called? Interns from Germany and Europe and things like that. Yeah. Five minutes past. So five minutes. So oh, wow, that was good. Now, so you do cooking classes for foreign people. I do, but don't mention my here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because she does much, much, much better than I do. <laughs> this is easy enough. You can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, because hey, she's doing this. Hey, the All done. Ready to eat. I mean, it probably doesn't so, look So, actually, I forget to true. buy the lemon so. for karage. So, I put the black pepper a little bit. A little black pepper. Please be it. Itadakimasu. <laughs> You can tell she's a fashionista because just look how she's sitting. Like right, she's right, very right, proper. Right, right, right. We're all like, you know, mm -hmm. like this, and she's sitting mm -hmm. very proper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Yeah, she looks beautiful, though. It's so... This so is so good. Dude, Natsuki, uh, karage is one, one of my favorite foods. I love it almost every place. But, but here's a question. I said, karage is like Japanese fried chicken, right? Uh -huh. One time I went to a, a restaurant and they had karage, but they had a bone inside the karage. Uh -huh. Is that normal? Normal. I've never seen it only in that one restaurant. And I put it in my mouth and I just expect to be able to chew it. Uh -uh. But there's bone, so it, like I hurt my teeth oh my god but you know you could see like shape. no it's just this ball uh, but there's a bo there's a bone inside of it i don't uh, know why okay. but you know it happens a lot you know in like when i was little like sports day yeah. you know at the school my mother used to make you know karaage with bones for sports day it's bento but that's different. That's like the the shape is like a, you can tell there's a bone. Oh, right. Like this wings. Was, yeah, like a wings. This mm. was just a ball with a bone in it. I was like, what are you guys doing? Uh, it was really weird. Too bad. You could chew nicely. Nicely and slowly. Okay. Yeah, be careful. But dude, I really want to try Kiharu's karage. Have you ever made karage yourself? Yes, I have. But oh. I, I did like the... Uh, shaking. Yeah, yeah, shake. You put the chicken in the plastic bag and shake. Yeah. Uh, that's the easy way. That's the easy way. Uh, yeah, that's good too. <laughs> that, mm. That's the only way. Oh, and then there's like the frozen karage, which I've done. That's, that oh, so frozen food, right? Frozen food, yeah. But it doesn't mean that you made it yourself. <laughs> that's made by some frozen company. Made. Not, you Natsuki, just fried. Not, Natsuki, you are harsh. You are harsh. <laughs> harsh. Anyway, uh, Kiaru, thank you very much for the uh, uh, show and tell Japan. That was a really cool cooking lesson. Uh, we will try to put the recipe mm -hmm. in the in the uh, d video description below, mm -hmm. and we'll also include a link to uh, Quantize's uh, homepage. Yes. So you guys can check out what they make. Yeah, they their dress is beautiful. They, they make some really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So you guys should definitely check them out. Thank you mm -hmm. so much, Kiharu. Thank you. And now it's time for the Natsuki Teaches Mitch segment. On this segment, Natsuki picks something from Japan and to teach to me. I, I, I live here in Kagoshima. You live here in Kagoshima in Japan. Uh, I've lived here for 12 years, but I don't know everything about Japan. So you teach me something new every week. So this okay. week, what is it going to be? Okay. Let's go about Kagoshima's again, okay? Okay, something about Kagoshima. Uh, something cool. about Kagoshima. Cool. So we have volcano Sakurajima right, right here. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then, you know, it's active. It is active. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes when it's explored, yeah. um, you know, ash, raining ashes. On the city. On the city. Dude. So we need umbrella to save ourselves. So, to so save ourselves. yeah, it's a, you know, I have to tell this to my friends back home in America. They're they're like, you know, does it rain a lot in Japan? I'm like, yes, it rains a lot, and also it rains ash mm -hmm. where we are. It rains ash, and they're like, what? Uh -huh. And like, it makes such a specific sound. It's like, <laughs> right? Sorry, too much there. <laughs> it does, guys. <laughs> but it's nothing harmful. 
Uh, but Probably. you know, ha, but you know, I I cannot wear head contact lenses because you know when the ashes come into my eyes, it's very sore, and you know I can't stop crying. So I you know change my head contact lenses to soft contact lenses because it's much you know easier. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you, like the ash here in Kagoshima is not so different from the、uh, sand in Las Vegas. Oh really? My hometown, Las Vegas, we have a lot of sand. Uh huh. Is it raining? Well, what happens is when the winds come、uh-huh. in, it like picks it up and like mixes it around, and so it happens. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's really not that different. No, okay. So, but okay. Now, now I wanna tell you something about Mitch. Is, yeah, you're supposed to teach me. Yeah, teach me. We have special ash garbage bag in Kagoshima City. Ah, a garbage bag for ash. Garbage bag for ash, and it's yellow. Have you ever seen? Yes, I have seen these.、Uh, I don't personally have these because I live、uh, in an apartment where I don't get ash where I、uh, am. But you know, Kagoshima City, you know, deliver to you know people you know, like free for I, free. I, I never got it, but maybe if you live in like a house or something,、uh-huh. they put you know their you know some garbage box into inside the post box box. So what what do you do with that? You just put the like you if you have ash in around your house, you. Yeah, I mean, you know, we collect ash and then you know, put ashes in the special bag, you、mm-hmm. know, special garbage bag. And then there's actually, a, you know, garbage spot only for ashes. Do you understand what I mean? So there's like a collection spot that's only for、collection、the ash、spot. bags.、Mm, so 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 so. Wait wait wait. So why can't we just wash the ash into like the streets? Ah,、uh, because、water? because it stucks actually. In、you、the know, pipes. In the pipes. Oh,、so、we have to, you know, gather,、uh, put, put, like, gather, get, gather, and gather, put in the bag. Put in the bag, and then cor- and bring it to the cor- correction spot. spot. So then,、mm. then the city takes the ash, and what do they do with it? There, there are actually many ways. Uh, uh, of course, you know, not all of them. But、uh, did you know that there's a souvenir count? <laughs> Oh,、ash. I've seen this. Yes, if you go to Kagoshima souvenir shop, they actually sell ash. <laughs> It sells. So I couldn't believe this when I first heard this, but it's true. They have a can、uh-huh. that says Kagoshima ash on、uh. it, and it's just a can with. Like you can hear it; it's just ash inside. Yeah, and I, I once bought it, and then I opened it, and the ash was there. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good souvenir for you know, it's good story. Yeah, I mean, it it、mm. is it is a really interesting <laughs> because like a lot of tourists when they come to Kagoshima, they want to go see the volcano, right? Sakurajima. Uh huh. So it's a it's a good memento, like something to remember. Sakurajima by.、Mm-mm. Yeah, I I once brought <laughs> I once brought my friends to you know Sakurajima and at that time, exploring. Ah,、uh, it ha- erupted. Ah,、uh, erupted.、Yeah. It, it erupted. Yeah. And then you know, start raining ashes. And then, you know, to me, I live in Kagoshima.、Uh, let's not say, but it's not really nice thing that we have ash because you know our Clothes get dirty. Ah,、uh, yeah. Sometimes it's annoying. It's annoying. Sometimes it's annoying. But my friends love it. Like, oh, futa. Well, I could understand that. You know, it's like you know, because we get used to it, so it becomes kind of old for us, right?、Mm. It, it, you know, it, so it's kind of annoying. But it's really an amazing thing.、Mm. I mean, I, you get to see this giant mountain spew out this huge cloud of huge ash, cloud and then of ash. sometimes there's lightning inside. The、mm-hmm. clouds is、mm-hmm. really crazy. And then Kagoshima's weather news actually, you know, saying on、um, you know how <laughs> the wind goes. How, how do you say that? Yeah,、language? yeah. So there's like it shows a map of like the Kagoshima area, and、mm-hmm. it shows like if Sakurajima erupts, the ash will travel in this direction. So, 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 so. And that's so people can hang up their clothes outside. So, 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 so. <laughs> you know more than I do. He, 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 I used to、right? be on TV. I used to be on an information television show, so, Joho. Bangumi. Ah, ah, ah. So every time they sh- and then I was actually confused because I always thought, why do they know that the volcano is、uh, going to erupt the, today? The, and then you know, direction of yeah. Right, But then、wind. they told me they go, no, 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 no. This is not the volcano. This is just the wind.、Mm-hmm. And if the volcano erupt today, this is where the ash will go.、Mm-hmm. I was like, oh. So then, ah, no, then, and then, ah,、uh, if the of course you know there's some you know, not like a possibility that you know. Dangerous, yeah. But you know, it's only only sometimes. 
Like I, I think as long as Sakajima keeps erupting, it's, it's like a good thing. yeah, it's like venting. Uh-huh. So it's but it's scary when it's quiet. Exactly, exactly. If you know the Mount Sakurajima is keep quiet, you know. You know, one explorer is like gets bah, very big. Yeah, so it's important to yeah. <laughs> she said it's like a fart. It's like it's yeah, like it's you farting. Keep your fart inside your body, you know. your, your stomach will explode. <laughs> well, <laughs> that has been the Natsuki teaches Mitch corner. I got to Yeah, yeah, Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time for Secrets of Sengayen with Alex Bradshaw. This, in this uh, section, Alex, who works at uh, the gardens here in Kagoshima called Sengayen Gardens, which, by the way, beautiful place. Everybody should go uh, take a visit. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's amazing. Uh, he shares with us every week a new secret little place that most people don't know about or probably don't know about in the garden. So let's go to his video. Hello, Alex here. You join me for yet Hi, another Secret of Sengayen. Today we're at the Cat Shrine. Oh. This uh, shrine is here because the 17th head of the Shimazu family, Yoshihiro, was ordered to go and fight in Korea. When he went there, he took seven cats with him. The reason he took the cats is to tell the time of day by looking oh, into their yes. eyes and how dilated the pupils were. Uh, whether it's true or not, we don't know, but two cats apparently came back to Kagoshima and are enshrined right here. So cat lovers from all over Japan and abroad as well, come here to write wishes for the long life and health of their cats on these boards right here. That's it for this time. See you next time for another Secret of Sengayen. All right, let me just, let me, I actually knew about the cat shrine. Uh, 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 and uh. the reason why I knew about that is because I talked to somebody who, uh, I'm, I was doing a news story, but somebody was telling me about how people come mm from all over the world mm. to visit the cat shrine to wish their uh, like good health and good future for their cats. Because mm. there are a lot of cat lovers out mm. there. We know that the internet loves videos and photos of cute cats. Mm. So there's a lot of people who love cats out there and that that, that spot is a really good place mm. uh, for any cat lovers out there to visit. Mm. So my sister-in-law loves cats. Really? Mm. And then, you know, once we went to, you know, uh, shri- I mean, I mean, Sing Yen. Yen, and then we we found the cat shrine and we actually wrote Emma. Emma is a, you know, little the, the little wood thing. thing yeah. mm-hmm. And then, you know, many people wish their cat's healthy. What are you supposed life. to write on that? Like, what do you write? Just like, I wish my cat is going to have a long, healthy life or? Mm, something like that. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, when I was there and I was checking out the, what do you call it? Emma? Emma. Emma. When I was checking out the little wooden note things, mm. uh, I saw not just Japanese and English, but I saw some Korean and I saw some other, like they were writing in English letters, but not English, maybe French or something. Yeah. So it's a very, very popular place uh, with, with cat lovers from all over the world. It's mm. really cool. And it's and it's in a very quiet little area mm. that you can just kind of sit, like sit back and relax and mm. just like enjoy the scenery there. It's a really mm. cool place. Yeah, cat shrine is like a Yeah, And there's also a lot of uh, neko goods it like uh, mm. you can you can buy a bunch of like cat merchandise there, mm. uh, you know, cute little figurines stuff like that. It's actually a really cool place, mm. so make sure you guys go check it out. Japan was the only country uh, in Asia to recreate the success of Britain and industrialize independently. In celebration of this fact, Sengayen and the Shoko Shu Seikan Museum were named part of the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site, Sites of Japan, Meiji Industrial Revolution. Iron and steel, shipbuilding, and coal mining in 2015. This stamp rally celebrates all of the sites including, uh, included in the World Heritage Inscription, so make sure to come along to Sengayen and see if you can find them all. All right, guys, that's been our show. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more shows. We produce these about one every week. Uh, We put a lot of time into making these shows, so we really hope that you guys enjoy them uh, and subscribe to this channel. If you guys have any comments for us, you can comment in the comment section below or you can you can tweet us at uh, at Kago Talk. Or if you want to find us on Facebook, we have a Facebook page, uh, Small Talk Kagoshima on Facebook. Mm. So any way that you guys want to drop us a line, communicate with us, let us know what you think about the show. If you any likes, dislikes, uh, if you have any requests for questions or anything like that, just let us know.
Let us know. Maybe if you want to ask a question to Natsuki about <laughs> J- Japanese culture or some sort of Japanese language、uh, question, that's cool too. Anything that you guys want, we're always here for it. Yeah, I'll answer as long as I can. Just don't ask me who I went to Disney Sea with because that's not okay. <laughs> the, who cares, though? I don't know. You don't care. You keep talking about it. <laughs> teasing. You. Teasing, yeah, teasing. teasing.、Uh, How do you say teasing in Japanese? Ijiru. Ijiru.、Uh, no, 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 there's another word. Nantoka dasu. Jirasu. 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 I don't, don't, don't jirasu me. Nan da sore. All right, guys, that's been Small Talk Kagoshima. We'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Hey guys, Josh here. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Small Talk Kagoshima. Small Talk Kagoshima is recorded in Kagoshima by Story Studios. This podcast stars Michi and Natsuki. The audio mixing is done by Hayato and is produced by me, Josh, and is executive produced by Michi. This podcast was made possible in part by Infinity, New FM Kagoshima, Sengayen, and Harada Gakuen. A special thank you to everyone who submitted questions and videos. You can submit your questions and videos to our Twitter at Kago Talk or our Facebook page for a chance to be featured in a future video. Alright, see you next week! <laughs>